Look at that hair. Crap. I got a comb here somewhere. Uh, make it out, man. There we go. Boy, Jay, yeah, now that would be funny documentation is taking you to the... Um, uh, Get a haircut. And a manicure. The oh, Jay, the I Jay take Mac a manicure. Over. Exactly. Now that would be entertaining. That'd be a show, and I'd get a makeover. No, I'm we'd get we get a whole um, what do they call that uh, lifestyle change. Oh yeah. We'd uh, get they'd you give me a job. We'd get you a job. You'd have to get up every day. Mm-hmm. And uh, go. I've never had one of now, those. Now listen, cut your hair. Yeah. And then uh, part of the day, you'd have to go out with your personal trainer and work out. Your etiquette people. Quit smoking, quit drinking coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like juice. Get up and have your juice. You allowed to drink coffee at night then or what? Right. The transformation of Jay is what we'll call it. What do you think? And then I'll be reborn and I'll have a job and I'll be We'll clean. start sending you to church. <laughs> and I can go to church just to report on the uh, enemy. Hey. Nah, man, I like church shit. And, you know, we did... We had that topic come up once, and we just skipped right over it. There's sometimes we skip topics. You see anything wrong with that? Yeah, like yesterday we were Jay, talking. Did you see anything wrong with that? We're under the weather. <laughs> the uh, like your uncle. You're talking about your uncle yesterday, and you said he fucked up that thing. You know, if he sees this, it's going to hurt his feelings. My, you know, we shouldn't be hurting people's my feelings. My uncle screwed what up? building your porch. Remember we had the mm. big building your porch episode. It was pretty exciting by the way. And uh, you know I thought about that too. I mean there's times I talk bad about people and I go like yesterday I said you know I went and seen Charlie's band you know and they go how are they and I said singer sucked. <laughs> what if the singer sings it? I don't even know the dude. You need to unzoom that. It's not too good. It's not. Yeah. There we go. We, I gotta get my pretty face on. Okay? Yeah, okay. Well, we got. You better okay. go get your pretty face, then. That's perfect right there. I hope you just screwed it up. There no, that's go. good. There that's we go. That's it. closer. Yeah. See, I don't want to sit too close to you. <clears throat> and I think I've changed it back to. Uh, I bathed two days ago. I'm going swimming today. So, what I mean to say, and back on track. Well, is that kid didn't suck. He's a better singer than me. He kicks my ass, and he's pretty damn good. Who? The singer for Charlie's band. Oh. What I'm saying is when we hurt people's feelings, and we don't remember to go back and say sorry, oh. you know, we just got to, it's implied. That guy, implied. Well, he didn't suck. Your uncle ain't a shithead, right? He's a nice guy. He's just, he, he should not did that wrong. Mm -hmm. Right, he should not did it. But he made or put a in a magic trap door or something. What it was, see, money started talking and yeah. he found a way to make him some cash. And he did it quick and cheap and did it as cheap as he could and fast as he could. Right. Well, you got to see that all of America. And probably is in built his on, mind, he did it. He did her a great favor. Right. But in reality, mm -hmm. maybe not. All of America is built on the lowest, cheapest price you can get anything done. And if they could get it done for a nickel cheaper, they'd be doing it that way. Seems like it doesn't. So you would think that you would want, like, quality of life. Instead of having things mass produced, let's have some pride in our workmanship and bring it up a level, bring it up a notch. There's another idea for the short story. Yeah. The quality of life, mm -hmm. Jay. And just ram that subject. Exactly. Now, if you've got... Someone that's living good, you know, you got to think if you're rich, what do you want? You want to spend more time with your wife, your family, well, have money to spend on them. What right? society in the whole earth, Jay? What are you going to buy them? Listen. You're going to buy them records and take them to movies, right? right? What, what's well, what if you break the copyright on records and movies and get them for free? Aren't you rich right now? Sure. Okay. No. Now, what was your point? What was this? What society in the whole world? In the whole world, okay. Spends more leisure time mm -hmm. than any other society. The least. The most amount of leisure time. 
I think it's an African society. It's an African society, Jay. Mm-hmm. The one with the dot on their head, and they go, Oh, ba da ba da ba you ba da And they whistle and shit while they talk. Because they got a language that involves whistling and shit, because they got so much time on their hand, they go, <coughs> I guess we do too, you know. Did you see that Lakers don't. game? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You mean the Pistons game? The Pistons-Detroit game, because they kicked some ass. Yeah. Another game tonight. <coughs> now, where were we? Oh, yeah, quality of life. Now, that is quality of life. When you can see the Pistons now, beat the Lakers. Would it be? <laughs> would your life be better if you were sitting next to Jack Nicholson down in the front row? Wouldn't that make your life a lot better? I thought it was funny, man. I'm going to have to Jack go with Nicholson. yes with that. I'm going to have to go with yeah, it would. It would be great. And yelling at the rest. And I mean, right. just, Screaming. Well, this coach mm-hmm. of the Timberwolves goes, Chill, Jack. Chill. <laughs> to the other team said that to him. Yeah. Easy, Jack. And Jack looked at him and started laughing. You know, he thought mm-hmm. that was funny. Mm-hmm. And he sat his ass down. For a minute. <laughs> For a minute. Shut the fuck up, Nicholson. So, uh, Spike Lee, is he sitting in front row of anybody? Nick's. Yeah, but they ain't in it, so he ain't he ain't going for Detroit or switching, is he? They choked, yeah. Fucking Pacers could have beat the Knicks. Hey, they did. Hey, they did. Mm-hmm. That's probably one of the reasons Actually, why we didn't beat the Knicks, did we? Did we play the Knicks? We had to. They're our division. No, we played Boston, and we played the Heat. The Heat beat the Knicks. We beat the guys that beat the guys. Does they, that prove anything? Yeah, yeah sure does. Yeah, yeah, proves that we beat the guys that, that beat, beat the guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it doesn't prove that we beat the other team by any So shape. how do we improve our quality of living? Do we have to go live in Jamaica? Because, boy, you know, or maybe South Africa. Hey. You I, got 10 my more days to figure it out before fine. everybody knows about the big event that's happening. What big event? Well, it's guaranteed by June 30th that the world's going to end, so. <laughs> guaranteed by go June ahead, 30th. Go ahead and get your living in now. Live it like it's no tomorrow. We ought to play futures on that, Jay. Mm-hmm. You guess when the world's going to end and you're going to win, uh, we'll say $250 billion. I don't know, how about this? We got the stock market is going to be hit with the severest downturn it ever did and drop back to like 50s level down into about oh 5,000 points from the 10,000 point level. We can short certain stocks and make a fortune. And make a fortune. Now if you short a uh, like an airline stock and it goes out of business before you sell the bottom end of it do you get screwed on a short? That's the one thing about shorts I never understood. Is if you sell it all the way down and the company disappears, aren't you just boned? I thought shorts were like pants. No, it's like you buy stocks and it goes up. That's the pants. I get it. Short legs for boys. Shorts. So if you short, that's the opposite of just buying a stock. So you make money when it goes down. Right. So when it goes out of business, right, you'd seem to make a whole bunch of money because they still owe you cash. So quality of life, the bank o- loans you money and you owe them 10% of what they loaned you, but nobody ever creates that cash. That's money that's actually created. You have to go out in the business world and earn that money to pay for the privilege to borrow money, right? Yep. So you owe more money than is in actual existence. If they loan out all the money, this is some important shit. There's only twenty-five billion dollars in actual printed money in the world, and yet there's two hundred billion dollars in loans, credit cards, uh, instruments of credit. Uh, stocks and it's being created at five times it's almost being created every year 
more credit money than the actual money supply is. Yeah, but credit see goes against infrastructure a lot of times. The That's banks, right. when they give a loan, they create this money out of the air. This money did not exist before they give the loan. So that they're actually making money right out of the air. You know how we dream about like mining gold, picking up gold? They they skip the middleman. They just make the money right out of the air. I'm serious. Yeah, I believe you, Jay. Well, if you, everybody owes two hundred billion dollars in loans, and there's only twenty-five billion dollars in cash, are you beginning to see my point? Yeah. The Rothschilds are going to get fucked on this deal. They own all the money. Queen of England, she owns all the money. Now, here's what we do. The Constitution says that our government can print its own money. Right? We, we have them print the J. Jay. Well, it's my idea. It's the least they fucking could do is name it after me, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, I'm the one thought of it. The J. <laughs> You're not the only one that's thought of making well, their dude, own money. I'm talking about backing it, though. We'll back it with agriculture. One dollar's worth one J. One J's good for one joint. Rolled. Rolled. It'll give people jobs. This is labor intensive. <laughs> <laughs> so I've backed it, the dollar, by drug addicts. Right. Now people are going to cash it in to get the joint. So the money's going to be instantly created, back in the government's hand in no time. Let's make a movie about that. That's not a bad plot because I tell you what, I think the J could save the world. When, it, imagine, let's say you wanted, oh, $2,000 to buy what? A motorcycle used. Right. The government prints you the money, gives you $2,000. And it's backed by joints. Backed by joints. <laughs> you give it to the motorcycle guy, and he takes the 200J, or 2,000J. You get the bike. He's got something that's actually worth something. <laughs> Which I guess, what, I don't know. I haven't rolled it it's out that much. 2,000 J probably about a pound, wouldn't it? You know, you just bulk it up at that point. People that, you know, they go, I got $10,000, and they'd be carrying a big sack. You know? I got a brick and pot. A big brick. Yeah, it's backed by something, I'm telling you. Something we grow, well, it's cost like gold. You know, that's a great idea. Or beer. Or joints, beer, whiskey, wine, and then have the government distill it and refine it for us. Because, my God, you know, them liquor places, they're making tons of money. They're using that money to subvert our political process. You see what I'm saying? They're running the king of beers for president, you know. Can't Let's be make king a movie a about it, Jay. I think so. Let's make a movie about that. About money? Well, see, the thing is, is that we probably won't have time to finish the movie before the financial crash comes. Because after a comet hits the earth, the, probably the financial institutions will slow down. And See what I'm saying? We'll just short the stocks. It's like, if you knew 9-11 was going to happen on... September 9th, what would you do? Buy airline stocks, short them. Buy pot. Well, the price of pot didn't change a dime over that weekend. Right. You know when pot becomes legal in the future? When they quit answering 911? When Anard rules? Well, what would you do if you was rich, you know? You got to think, probably wouldn't do drugs. I'd be in Paris drinking champagne. Oh, that's a drug. Just traveling's a drug. You know, it is. It's great to travel. I think my parents abused that drug. I'm out of here. Well, it ain't time. We haven't even covered anything good yet.
What time is it? <coughs> Twelve thirty. Time to take off. Quarter till. So and then that's fifteen minute drive back. Ten minute drive back. You're in trouble, dude. You're gonna be late. You gotta be there by one, huh? No. Tuesday. You know what it was? Tin hat Tuesday. We fucking missed it. <laughs> <Tin hat Wednesday. laughs> I told him about that. I said we made mm -hmm. tin hats, man. But you know, that's really not the you highlight. You wanna you wanna send them a picture of us in tin hats? I got some great ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hitler with a long mustache. <laughs> We will steal your children. Oh, man, you know who that is. That's that. I, uh, what was the Italian one? Mussolini. That was Mussolini. What, I was like, Mussolini. I have to get Italian accent. <laughs> hey, baby. That's Italian to me. That's mafia. Gina Lowe's a bridge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even pronounce the names. How can you be Italian? Hey, our first caller. You're out of here, huh? Hello? Hey, what's up, Al? Doing lunch. Yep. Well, hardly any reasons. I found the password. I'm looking. Well, you can always dial me up. No. No. Yeah, well, we'll see. You know, luck's changed. Like we were saying, what would you do if you was rich? So. All right. Catch you later. Bye. So what would you do if you was rich? I'd make this shit of Jay. I'd do that. But I think I'd travel up to uh, Canada. You know, British Columbia. British Columbia. <laughs> Let's try it out there. Chronic that I've heard about. I've never tried any, I it don't think. It makes its way down here. Mm -hmm. This neck of the woods. Two thirds of the country smoking Canadian chronic, but we don't get none. <laughs> Shit. I'm pissed. Letters. We could back the US dollar with Canadian dope. <laughs> what would that do for international trade? Because <laughs> they're growing it. Okay, we're going to have more about the world system and the impending collapse of the fact that we right. can't have loaned money. Well, what I'm thinking is, is on the lines of... Uh, when they go to all paying it back, where is it going to come from? What's that called? Um, Monty Pythons? And we'll do... Flying Circus with the feet stomps, and we'll do our own to the max. Right. And I think we can use Flash and uh, yeah, he's a Shock. This dude's master at flash. Now he's master at 3D fucking max and shit. Was that what he still uses? No, really, he uses flash mostly to do websites and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Photoshop. So. Yeah. 3D. That 3D max is pretty intense unless you're doing movies or television or, you know, they do all the lead ins in it. Actually, the only now. thing you need is three. No, see, they do all that with real time. Real time 3D max type stuff that puts. It's Flow and flag. Stuff, it's though. the same company, isn't it? They have pre-done like uh, templates that uh -huh. they use, and then they've got another program that'll let throws you use backgrounds that template, and, and throw it does in. it real time. You know, right. And does it's all about skinning it and swipes and effects, right? Right. Real time. Uh -huh. Off some. That's avid, obviously. Which then sometimes leads to fuck ups because they get the two boxes up and you get. One, you know, vice president sitting here saying there's no, we're winning the war in Iraq, and then on this side they show bombs blowing up as they're running, you know, that one's yours. Where's my <coughs> Life thief. I think I think you had them with you. Where are they? I think they were empty. I think I've got another pack. In the well, you better. You all right? You want a pack? No. Okay. See you, Jay. Okay, it's later. And on with the show. This is. Shit. I like it though. What do we got for my documents? Oh yeah, oh yeah dude, I forgot to show you. Alright. 
He's usually around for this, but he didn't make it today. Get down to tomorrow. The great orator speaks. The spirits are about to speak. Are they friendly spirits? Well, I don't know. All right, a flip? No. That doc can't read that. A lot of porno. Not really. Um, channel 49. Mr. President, Mrs. Sherrod, Secretary Powell, Secretary Oh, jeez. Kissing ass in France. They bad mouth them. Well, that's a show.